Hi everyone, so I'm here today to share five cards that I made using Simon Says Stamps limited edition holiday card kit for 2018. And for card number one, I'm just taking a bunch of snowflakes that are included in the stamp set in the kit and I'm attaching them to some acrylic blocks that I have at home. And then I'm going to use the embossing ink that comes in the kit to stamp them on this piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm gonna start by stamping the largest snowflakes first. And we're gonna stamp the snowflakes in an L-shaped pattern along the card. And the reason that I use the larger snowflakes first is I find that it's, um, it makes the, de the design easier to visualize if you start with your, your largest images first and then move on to your um, smaller ones as you, as you go along. So now I'm adding in the small snowflakes that are included in the kit just to fill in the little lonely areas of the card that look like they need a little company. So I'm putting the, the little snowflakes in those areas. I'm using white embossing powder to stamp the snowflakes. Um, this is my own embossing powder. It's Lawn Fawn's white embossing powder, which I really, really like. It gives a really nice crisp white look. And then we're going to heat set the snowflakes using a heat gun because we are going to go over this whole panel with some Distress inks. I was gonna use my Distress Oxide inks, but as I went to pull them out of the drawer, a few of them fell and made a huge mess. Um, distress Oxides are just so, so messy. So I'm mad at them today, so I decided just to get out my plain old Distress inks, which are much less messy, and, and use them instead. So I'm using three shades of blue here, actually blue-gray shades weathered wood, which is what I'm using now to um, ink up the card panel. This is the lightest of the blue shades. And then we're going to use some Stormy Sky, which is the mid-tone along the middle of the card, and then finally finish everything up with some Chip Sapphire along the bottom. So it's gonna give a really, really nice ombre effect to the card in like a blue-gray color scheme. So it is snowing pretty hard in Illinois where I live. I've lived here for about three weeks full time now and it has snowed four times um, since I've moved here and it's only November. So that's my first impression of, of Illinois that it's really snowy. So some positives to that are it's, you know, it's a Sunday afternoon. So I guess all I can do is just stay home and, and make some cards because it's just too, too cold and and not nice out to, to go outside and try to do some errands. So I guess that's a positive. Get to sit here and make cards and share them with all of you. So I'm just finishing up this panel by buffing off the distress ink that might have been on top of the, the white embossing powder on the snowflakes. And then we're gonna use a sentiment from the kit that says joy to the world. And we're going to stamp this using the antique gold embossing powder that comes with the kit. And I just made a little mess there, so I just used a paintbrush to take off the pieces of embossing powder that landed in areas I didn't want. Now we're gonna heat set the sentiment, and now I'm gonna make a mistake. And I'm gonna show you how I fixed the mistake. So I didn't like how that piece on earth looked stamped directly on the card base, so then I decided to put it on a thin white strip of card stock and then back it with the gold ribbon that comes with the kit, and then apply that to the, um, to the card base. So that's what I'm doing here, and I think that that works a lot better than just having the, the sentiment stamped directly onto the, onto the blue. So now I'm taking some of the stickles that come in the kit, and I'm just gonna decorate the snowflakes a little bit. And I decided that, um, what the card really needed was some pretty sparkly gems. So I went into my own um, supply here at home and I added a little druzy stone on the large snowflake and then some little crystals on the smaller snowflakes. And that is going to complete card number one. So I think it's really pretty. I love the little snowflakes. I love all the gold and sparkly crystal embellishments on that one. 
For card number two, where this is just a straight paper piecing exercise. So I'm taking some of the cardstock in the kit, this red plaid cardstock for the base of the card. And then I'm going to take the gold ribbon that comes with the kit and place that on the card panel as well. And then put a piece of green plaid in front of the gold so that a little bit of the gold is sticking out. And then we're gonna take some of the ephemera that comes in the kit. And I decided to take the little um, sheet of music that says joy to the world and combine it with the wreath that says joyous Christmas. And then a little sentiment that's in the kit also. It's part of the pattern paper that says, let it snow. And I'm just gonna attach all of that to the card. I'm gonna make it a little bit crooked just to give the card a little bit of interest. And then I'm using some foam tape to, on the sentiment just to make it stick out a little bit. And then I decided to dress up the little holly berries on the wreath with some of the red stickles. And that's what I'm doing here. And I decided that that was a really, it adds a really, really nice touch to the card. So it just kind of brightens it up and gives it a little bit of sparkle. And I think it also adds to the vintage, to the vintage feel of the card. This whole card kit, if you like making vintage cards, then you would love this kit because it's all of the materials in the kit are perfect to, um, for vintage cards from the colors, you know, these really, really beautiful matte reds and craft and green um, that are included in the kit and then the sparkly little stickles love it okay so before we get to card three i'm going to show you four versions of card panels that i used that i made using the poinsettia background stamp that comes with the kit so i'm just going to ink it up with the versa not the VersaFine, the, the Simon Says Stamp Embossing Ink. And then I'm going to apply my card panel right, right onto that stamp without using a misty or anything. Living dangerously today. This red cardstock is a piece of the cardstock that's included in the kit. And I'm using the antique gold embossing powder here. And it takes a, a little bit of work because it is a full um, five, five and a half by four and a quarter card base. Then I'm just going to heat set everything. And so this is what the red card stock looks like with the pretty antique gold embossing powder. I really like how this looks. I think it's nice and really, really Christmassy and vintage and just classic looking. So I also did the same thing on the craft card stock that comes in the kit. So I'm just using the antique gold embossing powder again and just heat setting that. And this is also, I think, another, another, pretty, another pretty combination to, to use a stamp for. Now, this is a heavy piece of vellum. It's by Hero Arts. It's really, really thick. And as you can see, this vellum is holding up really, really well to the heat gun, right? Normally vellum would be curling and maybe burning, but this one doesn't. So I didn't cut anything out here. This is how much time that this panel was exposed to the heat gun with no breaks. And it, it stood up pretty well. So if you're looking for a sturdy um, vellum, I definitely recommend the, the Hero Arts vellum. It's really, really, really sturdy and great. We're gonna use it a couple times in, in this video. So I also took one of the green pieces of cardstock in the kit, and I also um, embossed the poinsettia, poinsettia background stamp um, onto this card panel as well. And so those are our four different panels. I just wanna kind of show you the different variations that you can, that you can get using um, materials that are in the kit and then maybe some vellum that you might have on hand at home. All right, now we can move on to card number three. So for card number three, I'm taking that heavy vellum again from Hero Arts and I'm going to stamp two sentiments from the kit onto the vellum. It says Merry Christmas and then Joy to the World. And I'm going to use red embossing powder here. Um, this is just something that I had at home and I thought that it would go really, really nice with the green background we're going to use for the card. So 
I'm just using that red embossing powder to stamp the sentiment onto the vellum. And then we're going to heat set it. And again, as you'll see, the, the Hero Arts vellum is standing up really, really well to the heat gun, not curling or anything. Um, now we're going to attach the green card base that we just made with the poinsettia, poinsettia, I don't know why I can't say that word today, background stamp. And then we're going to attach the piece of vellum to the card base. And I'm just adding glue behind the words so that it doesn't show through the front. And I cut it down a little bit from the last time that we saw it, just so that some of the pretty green of the, the card base is showing. I'm going to take a piece of the gold ribbon that comes with the kit and just attach that along the side. And I think that this looks nice just as it is. If you want to stop here, that would be fine. But if you want to go a step further and add some of the ephemera from the kit, you could do that too. And that's what I do here. So I just took a few pieces of ephemera and I just kind of added them in the lower right hand corner just to add to the vintage feel of the card. So that's card three. Moving on to card number four. So this is not one of the panels that I had embossed before. This is a piece of cardstock that comes in the kit. So it matches really, really well with the, the poinsettia stamp. And I am using here, this is the craft card panel that we had stamped. And I'm backing it with a piece of chocolate brown cardstock just so that maybe like an eighth of an inch is sticking out from the edges just to give it a little bit of a border and make the card look finished. Now, this is another piece of ephemera from the kit and I am stamping it with one of the sentiments in the kit that says, good tidings of comfort and great joy. And then to make the sentiment stand out, I'm just going to put some clear embossing powder on it and heat set it so that it's nice and bright and shiny. I'm using some eph other ephemera from the kit also. And we're just going to attach that flower. I'm just gonna call it a flower for now because I can't say poinsettia today for whatever reason. And then the little Santa Claus um, ephemera in the lower left-hand corner. And then I'm just putting some little gold stickles around the edges of the of the sentiment just to make it look interesting and to kind of tie it back into the gold that's in the card panel underneath and then I also added some gold stickles to the center of the of the flowers there I said flowers all right so this is our last one this is card number five and for card number five we're going to use some pattern paper from the kit and a bunch of ephemera so this is that clear vellum panel that we had stamped earlier. And I'm just gonna place that on the left side of the card. And then we're gonna put two of the Christmas trees that are included in the ephemera in the kit. And then we're gonna take this little sentiment that is part of the pattern paper in the kit and a few more pieces of ephemera and just kind of place everything around the card until it kind of looks good to me. This is a sentiment from the kit that I stamped on a piece of vellum also with black VersaFine ink and then heat set it with some clear embossing powder. And that looks good to me. So that is it for card number five. I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. I hope that um, the video gave you some ideas for when you're making your own Christmas cards, especially if they're vintage style cards or or cards that you're making using this kit. I hope everyone has a great weekend and I will see you again in the next video.